you'll apply for hundreds of jobs online, but you never heard back from the hiring manager. It might be because you do not have the product manager resume keywords. Hey guys, this is Dr. Nancy Lee, Director of Product. I help engineers and international professionals transition from worker bee to product manager and business leader. Today, we focus on product manager resume keywords. If you have watched my last video, I've already told you how to write a killer product manager resume based on the right impacting stories and how to package your prior experience to become a product manager. Today, we laser focus on deep down into the product manager resume keywords. Hitting the keywords is like hitting the like button. So if you like this video, feel free to like, smash like button so that I can make more videos like this. Thank you so much. All right, so regarding the product manager keywords, let me ask you this question. Do you feel the same way? You apply for hundreds of jobs, but you never heard back from the hiring manager or recruiter. You're wondering what went wrong. If you feel the same way, comment down below saying that me too. If you have been to my live webinar, you know that I really enjoy engaging with my audience. So if you feel the same way as what I just described, comment down below saying that me too. As a hiring manager, I can tell you one of the top reasons you never heard back from the hiring manager was because product manager resume was looking for very different keywords compared with any other resumes out there. Today, I'm gonna to teach you the right keywords you should put on, on your resume and how to write about them and specific examples and why we need to write it that way. Okay, so first of all, regarding the keywords, there are three groups of keywords. Group one is product manager roles and responsibility related keywords. Group two are the technical keywords. Group three are the product unique keywords. I'm gonna give you specific examples in each of the three buckets so that you can apply specifically to your own scenarios as well. In the first bucket, the most important keyword is MVP, minimum viable product. Minimum viable product is being used by product managers in many different scenarios. It's mainly for using the minimum amount of effort to validate your product ideas, get feedback from customers, and validate your value proposition of your product. And hopefully you're also able to attract a lot of early adopters so that you, mm, you know you're on the right track. And let me give you some very specific examples regarding what do we mean by minimum viable product. One of my favorite MVP is actually the Jobbox MVP. Jobbox, most people you know nowadays, is the file sharing platform. You have one file on your computer, you can share it with your friends, computer. But imagine this, 10 years ago, this like file sharing synchronization is like boring concept for you. How would you even tell your end user, validate with them, and let them understand the value of this product? And the CEO of Jobbox made something very smart. They made a two minute video that describe what the future looks like with the specific file sharing functionality. And of course, they did some like quick synchronization, quick code to show them what the interface looks like. But it's all a video. And using this video, they're able to lock down fundings, make people understand the unique value proposition, the key concept of file sharing across multiple computers, devices, and platforms. And that's the beginning of Jobbox. The reason I really like to give you the specific examples was that they focused on using the minimum amount of effort. They didn't call, they didn't really do too much work to show them how to build the architecture architecture among different following system. They filmed a two minutes video. As you know that myself, I specialize in making the least amount of effort to use high efficiency methodology to help my student get a job as a product manager. That's why whoever is in the same track with me, like using the high efficiency, I totally like them. The second type of keyword is writing product requirement. So the purpose of writing product requirements is for product managers to get alignment with different stakeholders, engineering and sales marketing and different people together so that you're on the same page that what specific things you're making and why we are doing this. I made a specific video in the past talking about how I transitioned from engineering into product management. And this is part of the video series talking about how people game and become a product manager without product management background. You can check that video down here. And here, we don't talk that much about how you do transition. But what I want to tell you is that in my prior experience as engineer, I was able to write lots of requirements, build systems diagrams, and this requirement writing experience is so valuable to product managers. That's how 
one of my uh, top three strategies for me to transition into product management as well. Hopefully you can do the same thing. And now let me share with you top five type of requirements people need to write. They are functionality requirements, performance requirements, usability requirements, supportability requirements, reliability requirements. Now let me give you some specific examples regarding how to write those requirements. And the first of all is the functionality requirements. The system shall count the number of cars passing each intersection. So this is a specific functionality requirement that people write as a product manager. Let me also give you another examples of performance requirements. The camera detection accuracy shall be the same or higher than 85 percentile. So those are the examples of performance requirements and, and the functionality requirement I mentioned earlier. Hopefully you can apply the same methodology into a current work and write about it on your resume as well. Those are the keywords. The third keyword is user story. As a product manager, we write user stories all the time, as you can imagine. The user story's purpose is that you write the features and the functionality of your product from the end user's perspective, so that other stakeholders, in this case, most likely engineers, is able to understand why they are doing this and what the final outcome their product needs to achieve. We follow certain specific framework to write user story. Let me give you some examples. I would say, as a traffic engineer, I want to see the number of red light violation cars going through these intersections every hour so that I'm able to collect the data and redesign the traffic light timing to reduce red light violation. If you want to see more examples of how to write user stories, feel free to comment on the link down below so that I'm able to make my future video cater to your needs as well. The number four keywords is conducting the voice of customer interview. This is my favorite part of being a product manager and also the most critical part of all the product management roles and responsibilities. Part of the specific writing conducting customer interview is that we are able to hear the needs and the requirement and why and rationales, the reasons why customer has this kind of pain point, how can we solve their problems, and you hear from customers. I made a specific video that I interviewed the Google product managers to see how Google launched their product, how do they interview customers, what specific methodology they use. You should check our video here. And today I'm going to show you the high level why we need to write this. If you have the customer success experience or UI UX experience, that's a perfect prior experience that's so relevant to product management because as a customer success manager, you probably talk to customers, learn the pain point, and you provide the feedback to your product managers or engineering teams. That's something you have to write on your product manager resume as well. Hopefully, this is gonna help you to land more job interviews. And number five keywords is lead cross-functional teams. As a product manager, we all know that we are people leaders. You're not just here to collect paychecks and want to become product manager. No, you're here to solve problems impacting the world. Majority of my students in the long run, they want to become a CEO of their own company. But right now, you're CEO of your own product. So therefore, being able to demonstrate your leadership potential is very critical on your product manager resume. And if you also feel like in the long run, you want to become the CEO of your own company, comment down below saying that me too, CEO. So specifically, if you're also trying to think about who you need to work with in a cross-functional team environment as a product manager, let me share with you. There are people you work with currently, like engineers and sales and marketing, and also other functions, other departments, such as legal and like a strategic planning department. Could also be someone outside your company, such as like vendors, or analysts and all the cross-functional team experience you need to talk about on your resume as well. If you want to learn how to also get promotion and become a leader much faster, you can check out my last YouTube video about when I went live and answering questions about how to get promoted and become a director product in four years as a minority woman. Now let's move on to the technical keywords. For the technical keywords, first of all, you do not need to have a technical background to become a product manager. I'm going to make a YouTube video talk about why and what type of technical background is required for product companies. And if you want to check out the future videos, I'm going to put it down here once available. And you should also let me know what specific examples you can give me so that I can put it in my future video referencing to your specific experience as well. So put your specific questions down below about technical background. So if you do have some kind of technical experience, 
Here's my recommendations. You need to write about the top three type of technical backgrounds and the keywords on your resume. Number one, like groups of technical experience is related to cloud, software architecture. For example, if you apply for jobs in Amazon, you need to talk more about cloud, like API, SDK, and other stuff. And I make other videos talking about like funny part of the technical part, you can check it out down here. And on top of that, you should also think about any coding language you have. If you know how to code in JavaScript and C and any other languages, you should put them in your technical description of your resume. And on top of that, the third group is specific tools you have used, such as Jira, or you have done wireframe using different tools or Trello. And all those tools are very relevant to product managers because we, we use the same tools uh, when you become a product manager as well. So those three type of technical keywords need to show up on your resume. Now, another tip for all of you guys is that where to write it and when to write it. You can write in a section below a technical experience and talk about all the technical keywords I mentioned. You should also plug them in in your experience when you work on specific products before and you should talk about how you use your technical terms to solve problems as well. And number three, finally, we talk about the product unique keywords that are related to the future jobs you're applying for. Let me give you some examples. If you apply for like self-driving car company, you probably need to talk about machine learning, AI, natural language processing, sensors, and all those keywords are related to the future product you need to use. Or if you apply for other companies like AI or IoT or medical device, and each industry has its unique like, things they're looking for. These are product-specific keywords. You need to mention those keywords on your resume as well. Therefore, I recommend all of you guys research the company before you even start to write about the specific product unique keywords. Now, let me give you some examples regarding how to write product unique keywords. The old way of writing requirements is road requirements for various products. That's just old, you know? The new way to write it is road requirement of a machine vision product to reduce car crashes for cities. So those became the product unique requirement. Hopefully you're able to use the type of keywords and examples I just told you to write the product management keywords. And I also made a specific product manager resume template that able to download towards the end of this video. And hopefully you can apply the right keywords into the template and get a product manager job very quickly. If you like videos like this, please give me a thumb up. And on top of that, I have lots of live video content coming up in the future. You can subscribe to my newsletter. I'm going to make announcement whenever I go live and you can ask me questions there as well. I also made multiple videos. If right now you're in the process of interviewing with product manager positions, you have to watch this playlist where I give you several sample examples regarding how to answer product management interview questions, such as tell me something about yourself and why do you want to become a product manager and how to launch a product from concept to execution. All those questions are must ask questions. You guys need to get ready for this. All right, this is for today's content. If you like videos like this, feel free to like and comment and share these videos so that I have lots of motivation to provide more videos and serve you better. All right, I'm gonna see you next time. This is Dr. Nancy Lee, bye.